Caroline Allen, welcome to the Keto Camp Podcast. Thank you so much. I'm super looking forward to this. <laughs> Me too. We met in person at uh, KetoCon. We had a brief conversation. And of course, I've already heard about your company and what you're doing to inspire people and give them hope and amazing research on minerals and fulvic and humic. And oh, we're going to have some fun today. And your company, of course, is Beam Minerals that you see right behind you if you're watching the YouTube video here. Before we get into the research and some cool ways to use your products and just a good under, a better understanding on minerals, you have a pain to purpose story. And I'd love for you to get into that and what even got you into this world of studying minerals for health and longevity. Yeah, that's, it's, a, it's a really interesting story because I don't come from this world at all. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a practitioner. I'm a person whose um, life was radically changed by taking plant-based minerals. So I uh, kind of burned out of a corporate career. I was in the tech world, uh, kind of a top gun for hire. And I burned out of it. I had flatlined adrenals for three years, working with all sorts of different practitioners trying to heal those. I had um, really bad inflammation in my gut. I had been, in, I had been gluten free for seven years. Uh, and still I was unable to, hand, to get over the, the problems that I had in my gut. I had very bad gingivitis and I had um, receding gums, really deep pockets in my gums and I had a bone loss in my teeth. I had headaches almost every day. I had wow. sinus infections that were constantly recurring, never completely healing. Um, so I had really, and, and also low thyroid. So. I had a systemic problems. And my, bus now, my now business partner, Dan Howard, suggested I try these plant-based minerals, these liquid drinks. And I'm also a person who hates taking pills. So, you know, don't ask me to take, and I also, they bother my stomach a lot. I get stomach acid, I get um, all sorts of problems with iron. And so I hate taking pills. So this, this was great. It was a liquid tastes like water. I'm like, cool. Every morning I take my shots. And after two months, I went to my dentist to get my teeth clean. And this was at a time when I had to have a lidocaine to have my teeth clean because my teeth were so sensitive. And the woman came in and she started just doing her little exam. And I noticed that things were less sensitive. I said, you know, let's not try it. Let's do it without the lidocaine. They cleaned my teeth, there was no bleeding, um, and there was no very little sensitivity, some. And my dentist came in to do the exam and she looked in my mouth and I'll never forget, she kind of was like, whoa, what's, what's changed? The, this tissue in your mouth is completely healthy, it's no longer red and inflamed. And, I, and um, you know, my uh, person who cleaned the teeth said it hadn't ble bled. And I said, you know, I think it might be these minerals I'm taking. And she was like, well, keep taking them. So then uh, two months later, so it's about four months in, I went to my naturopath. And the last time I had seen her, she had given me a um, prescription for hydrocortisone and um, to take it orally. And I was like, I'm not doing that. But we had been working for three years and I literally had flatlined adrenal. She's like, we need to actually really we need something bigger. We need some bigger guns here. And I never filled a prescription. And we did the, the saliva test for my adrenals. And she looked at the test and she opened her book and she turned it around. She's like, look at this. This is so great. Are you taking the hydrocortisone? I said, no, I'm not taking that. I'll never take that. She said, well, what are you doing? Because look at this. And literally, so my adrenals, which were like flat lined on a chart, they were now one third of the way up and they had this natural sawtooth pattern that they're supposed to have. And I just said, you know, I'm taking these minerals. I think that's what's doing it. She's like, keep doing it. So within six months, my, the, the digestive problems, the constant bloating, the constant discomfort, the elimination issues that I was having with constipation, the, my mouth, the, the inflammation in my mouth completely resolved. I mean, on and all these things started changing and I started feeling really so much better and the headaches went away. The fall came and went. I didn't have any sinus infection and, you know, knock on wood, I just, I did get COVID, but I don't get any colds or flus anymore. I just don't get them. And if I ever feel a slight, you know, 
thing coming on or something, you know, I'm, I'm like, ooh, that's interesting. And I just take a little extra micro boost. Boom, it's done. So, <laughs> so as a result of that, Ben, I started to do some research and I'm a real geek. And, um, you know, I, I'm the kind of person who follows a thread and doesn't give up until she really understands it. And so over the last eight years, I've given myself college level courses in microbiology and cellular biology and plant decomposition and soil composition and how soils are made and what humic and fulvic are and how they work, et cetera. It's been quite a journey. I I love it. I love the journey. I'm a geek like you as well. And we're going to, we're going to have some fun geeking out today. Yeah. That's really, it's really remarkable how you had so many health challenges mm -hmm. and in a matter of uh, months, six months, a lot of them got improved tremendously yeah. by taking these minerals. And I, I want to know the audience, audience wants to know like exactly how did this happen? Yeah. I mean, how do plant-based minerals solve so many of these health symptoms and challenges that not only you had, but probably a lot of people that are listening and watching have. So just let's break down what minerals exactly are and what they do in the yeah. body. You know, one of the ways I like to frame this for, pe for people is if you took all of the water out of your body, you'd be a little pile of minerals. Do you realize that your entire body in the mitochondria are driven off of minerals and amino acids? Those two things together are the building blocks of every small unit of energy that's built in your body. So when you are mineral depleted, it's like the light is dimmed. All of the electrical mm. systems in your body are a struggle. All of the, the building blocks aren't there available for every single operation. And the other thing I like to set the stage is if you think about your body, every single part is made of cells. You have about 37 trillion cells in your body, give or take a few hundred trillion. So, I mean, it's <laughs> depending on how yeah, 30 big, to, 30 yeah, to 100 yeah, exactly, so. depending on how big you are. And every single cell requires minerals. It's not like a nice to have, it's not like vitamins. This is like, you have to have minerals to generate ATPs, these unit of, units of energy that drive every aspect of your body. Now, one of the most beautiful things about the human body and all cellular systems is they are amazing, miraculous machines for gaining and maintaining homeostasis. Homeostasis being this natural balance, like your body knows how to create skin cells or heart cells or brain cells or eye cells. It knows where, it knows how to do all of it, how to, you know, create hormonal balance, how to create enzymes, how to create, you know, for digestion, all of these things. It, it already knows how to do it. And all you really have to do is provide these building blocks. Okay. Now I know, we know because of our, situation we have to also provide some help add some vitamin d great thing to help and vitamin c and you know um you know some of these other um things that we really aren't getting from our food anymore um and, yeah. and minerals are one of those key components and i want to i want to challenge, challenge you in a way because somebody listening or watching is probably thinking yeah but why do i need a supplement or why do i need to take these actual products when I could just get it from my food. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm taking a multivitamin like Centrum, please don't take mm -hmm. Centrum, Thank you. but I'm taking a multivitamin. Mm -hmm. I'm eating, you know, vegetables. Can I just get all the minerals mm -hmm. and all the building blocks and all I need just from the food I'm eating if I'm eating pretty mm -hmm. clean? Well, first of all, what I want also want to tell people is, you know, when I told you about where I, where I was, I'm probably one of the, the most health conscious people, you know, I eat really well. I eat organic. I've all, I mean, I've been interested in health and wellness since I was a kid. My, my real health challenges started because I didn't know I was gluten intolerant. So, and I, so I had health problems from when I was a kid, but that led me into, I mean, I've always, I mean, really, really healthy. So that was part of my journey is why can't I get these things? Why is my body depleted? Why can't I get this from the foods that I eat? Guess what? Production farming completely depletes the foods that you're eating 
not necessarily of vitamins, but of minerals. Why is that? Because they spray the, the plants and the soil with things that kill the microbes in the soil. And the minerals in the foods that you eat are made from microbes. That's what produces mm. the minerals. That's what breaks down all of the plant material that's in soil and creates these mineral substances that get transferred into the plants as they grow. And our, and our soil is depleted. There's actually a term for micronutrient depletion and it's called the hidden hunger. This is, you can look it up mm. online, it's really interesting. Um, so the hidden hunger is micronutrient deficiency. It's, this is the vanguard of health. I'm telling you, this is, you know, years ago we hadn't heard about, you know, uh, probiotics and all of those kinds of things. Nobody really heard about keto, maybe Atkins, but you know, more involved with really understanding how it works with keto. Now people, a lot of people understand this stuff. They've heard of ketosis, they've heard of um, uh, probiotics. Mineral deficiency is the next thing. It is absolutely the next thing because this is the thing that can empower all of the people out there. If there's one thing that I could empower all the listeners with, it's you need to have a full spectrum of minerals. Your body doesn't only need calcium, magnesium, potassium, you know, salt and whatever, those, those few five or six minerals, it needs a full spectrum. You need things like phosphorus. You're not going to go take a pill for, to get phosphorus. You need molybdenum. You need copper. You need really some of these things that you're not going to get from a megadose. When I say megadose, I mean a single, like you, but you get CalMag or you get, you know, single or double, you know, or you might get an electrolyte replenishment or a supplement that's got, you know, several different electrolytes in it. Um, so there's a whole, yeah. So the main thing is we are all depleted. There's actually a, a study done um, that says that um, most people are only have about 30 to 37% of the mineral content in their body that they need. Wow. Hence, wow. hence wow. the hidden hunger. And, and they, and in, this was in like, like it was 19, I think it was 19, like early nineties, 80% of people are that depleted. So I'm telling you today, we're all depleted. Yeah. And you mentioned the farming, right? We know glyphosate chelates a lot of these minerals yes. and what it does to the soil and that disrupt, disrupts everything. And even if we're eating organic, which that's the goal, there's still glyph there's still pesticides and, and glyphosate that get off sprayed. And if you're drinking alcohol, for example, if you're drinking wine and if you're drinking a California wine, I remember Dr. Zach Bush letting me know that the average California wine has about 64 uh, pesticides exactly. in it and then you go to you go to dunkin donuts or mm -hmm. starbucks you drink moldy mm -hmm. pesticide laden coffee mm -hmm. chelating even more minerals mm -hmm. plus coffee is actually act, acts like a diuretic so you lose more minerals and then you do keto you drop insulin you lose more minerals so we see this trend here and it makes sense that 30 to 37 percent uh only 30 to 37 percent have this mineral composition that we need so, so you know going back to what we were just saying we have a big problem mm -hmm. and it's not as simple as taking a cal magnesium supplement or electrolyte powder and those could be beneficial but what is the difference between something like these i'm going to hold up your product here for those watching on mm -hmm. youtube um what's the difference between taking one of your products mm -hmm. these bean minerals that are plant-based liquid based mm -hmm. versus the supplements that you mentioned yeah so the way to frame this i want to talk about bioavailability first um, because lots of people don't know what that buzzword means. And I'm going to break it down for people in a really simple way. And it's going to be one of the most empowering things they're going to learn. Okay. So okay. bioavailability has three stages, digestion, absorption, which, and assimilation. And without those three stages, whatever you put in your mouth is useless. Okay, so let's start with digestion. We think we all know what digestion is. Yeah, you gotta get in there, your stomach breaks, breaks it down. But guess what? It has to be broken down all the way to its chemical components. So when you have something 
that has to be digested. You take a supplement that's made from bones, shells, rocks, less so salts, but those three, guess what? Your body doesn't actually, actually digest those very well. Our, we're not actually well evolved to digest those things, but guess what? Your body is completely evolved to digest minerals from plants. Your body has actually all cellular systems across earth. They use plant-based minerals for mineral replenishment already. Your body already uses it, but you just have very low mm -hmm. levels of it. So that's the first stage digestion. So here's the other thing that will blow your mind inside your gut. Your gut is lined with these villi, these, uh, structures and each one of those structures is lined with epithelial cells and each one of those epithelial cells is lined with receptors and those receptors are specific to specific elements. So you can throw a whole bunch of magnesium into your system, but you only have a certain, first of all, only a certain amount is going to actually be digested down to those absorbable components. And then you're only going to have a certain amount of receptors available. And then guess what happens with the rest of it? Your body has to work very hard to get rid and eliminate the excess. This is why a lot of people, when they take too much magnesium, they get diarrhea. Yeah, okay? yeah that makes sense. Or some, makes and there's other, sense. like when you take too much calcium, you actually get constipated. So that's mm. other, there are other types of problems that occur. So one of the things, sorry, my phone rang. Um, one of the things no that worries. I'm really wanting to people people to understand is how the replenishment system works in your body. We tend to think of our body like a car. Okay, I need gas, put in gas, I need oil, put in oil. But your body, the replenishment system in your body doesn't work at all that way. So the paradigm shift is take a mineral supplement that first of all is extremely bioavailable from a digestion perspective, easily broken down if it needs digestion. Second of all, provide a full spectrum of minerals in a, in very small amounts all the time, rather than system, rather than these large boluses of magnesium or calcium, because you know how they talk about, um, electrolyte balance. So this is the most amazing aha that I had when I went down and really study minerals. Minerals work in balanced pairs. So as an example, someone might have cramping and they think, okay, the doctor says you need magnesium, but guess what? Do you know that cramping can be a, can occur because of the balance between calcium and magnesium? So you may have high magnesium and high calcium and the balance between the two may be too close. So now you're adding more magnesium and you're exacerbating the situation. This is why magnesium doesn't work for everybody. It's also because cramping also has to do with phosphorus. It has to do with some other micronutrients. So you could be missing some other specific micronutrients that are needed to support the energy production in those cells. And you're instead exacerbating the situation by taking more magnesium. People walk up to our show, show booths all the time and say, yeah, I tried magnesium. Yeah, it didn't work for me. And I'm like, yeah, it, it works for some people because some people that's exactly what they need, but it's not working for everybody. So the bottom line here is the way the replenishment system works in your body, you want to support the incredible magical intelligence of your body's replenishment system by providing low level trace amounts of a full spectrum of minerals all the time, constantly in an infusion kind of method. And then your body has available everything that it needs all the time. That's how my health improved. Do hmm. you see? Yeah, that's Isn't that phenomenal yeah. when you really begin to get it? Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to recap what you said. Yes. So the audience could really get it bioavailability some of us has we've heard that term but it's the three components digestion absorption assimilation it needs to go through all of that and it's not as simple as taking a magnesium or a calcium as a matter of fact you said that could actually exacerbate um cramping or some of those those issues you might be having and you think i need to just take more magnesium but it has to do with the other micronutrients maybe phosphorus and something else so providing low levels of a full spectrum 
of trace minerals and taking it often is the way to fill in those gaps that a lot of us are missing. Did I get that yes. right? Yes. And then the last stage of this three stage process, assimilation. So this is the other thing people don't realize is that most minerals, there are a few that work well that actually do their job in the bloodstream, but most minerals do not do their job unless they've been assimilated into the cell where the mitochondria has access to them. And most of us don't have very good assimilation. This, and the reason that we don't have good assimilation is because we don't have a lot of flavonoids in our system. So the cool thing about these liquid plant-based minerals is that the fulvic component of these is, is called a flavonoid. It's a very, very small molecule and it carries nutrients into the cell. It carries a full spectrum of minerals directly into the cell and it drops them off. We can talk about how that happens later. So digestion, breaking things down to those small components, absorption through all of those specific receptors in your gut, and finally assimilation into the cell. So you can get, you can take this big amount of magnesium and some portion of it's digested, actually only 10 to 12%. And then some smaller portion of it's actually absorbed. And then some very, very small amount of it is actually assimilated. So what I often ask people is how often have you felt the difference from a mineral supplement that you take daily? I mean, really felt hmm. the difference. And that's the difference between when you take plant based minerals, you start to go, wow, I feel better. Like I have more energy at the end of the day. Like, Wow, I'm sleeping better. Wow, I don't crave sugar. I'm not having I'm having way fewer cravings. So that hidden hunger is hangry cells. They don't have it. Hangry, that's they good. don't have what they want and they're literally your nervous system is amped up. And how do you feel when you're hangry? You're kind of like eh, amped up. Mm -hmm. And so when you actually give your body all those all that mineral supplement, I mean, all that mineral, um, full spectrum minerals that you need, the nervous system starts to relax over time. You start to sleep better. You start to have less cravings. You start to make different choices in your life. It's really interesting. I mean, I really say I'm a different person today as a result of it. So let me, let me ask you this. This is awesome information. If somebody has hangry cells, right, they're going through this, um, um, hidden hunger, in which the majority of people are, as you mentioned through that study, and this mitochondria, the cellular metabolism, they're not getting these really important minerals that it needs to produce ATP mm -hmm. to make these cellular functions to get rid of reactive oxygen species. If it's not getting enough of these, what is happening? Is it stealing it from somewhere else? Is it just going to lower energy production? Is there just going to be an, uh, a buildup of, of free radicals? What is happening when it's not getting that at the cellular level? Yes to all of that. So first of all, you have definitely a, ra a rise in oxidative stress. Um, and once we get into how the humic and fulvic work, you'll understand how they support um, lowering of oxidative stress, lower of, lowering of inflammation, and overall detoxification. But um, Oh, really, the best way to describe it is literally like a light dimming. Okay, okay. we don't yeah, want that you don't for want a light, at all. You don't want a light dimming, and what it does is it makes it, it literally makes it hard for your body, and particularly on ketosis. You know, a lot of people when they go into ketosis, they feel that really like, you know, that that intense thing, and some of that is, uh, you know, we, we talk about stress in the world and we say so much stress in the world from environmental toxins, from just all of the activity, all of the things are hitting us constantly, all the information. But a lot of that stress is actually coming from the inside. And when you mm. provide this incredible full spectrum support to your, every cell in your body, you start to begin to like have some place to stand. It's like you, you Makes sense. It really, it's so, I mean, this is why I'm so excited to share this with people, Ben, because it blew my mind. I'm like, why don't, why don't we know about this? Why? Mm -hmm. I suffered for so many years. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to heal myself. And 
what I had was mineral depletion and glyphosate toxicity. Ah, I want to get into the topic of yeah. glyphosate and what this does to chelate that. But here's, uh, we have a lot of people who do carnivore mm -hmm. in, in our yes. keto camp. Um, group and I love carnivore. I do it from time to time. So they're thinking right now, but, but Carolyn, you're saying these are plant-based mm -hmm. compounds. From my understanding, mm -hmm. there's anti-nutrients in plants and those chelate minerals. Mm -hmm. So how can plant-based minerals, is this carnivore friendly? Are there anti-nutrients? So address that yeah. part. Okay. So let's now talk about humic and fulvic and what they are. When I say plant-based minerals, it's completely different than taking, a, you know, a kale or whatever it is. You know, this is not like that. Him, a broccoli All sprouts, of that stuff. Not, we're not talking no. about that. So yeah. imagine an entire rainforest that existed back when the dinosaurs were alive. And that entire rainforest has decomposed over millennia into this strata of incredibly mineral rich substance. And it's decomposed via microbe, uh, microbial action over millennia. Okay. And this substance is called humate. And, in, and humate is, if you saw it, it's like the darkest, blackest, incredible material. And inside humate are these two components. One is called fulvic and the other is called humic. Let me talk about, so there's, there are absolutely no plant antigens in it. There's nothing. This is straight minerals. And the cool thing is, you know how people, people often ask us, well, what kind of magnesium do you have in your product? I'm like, it's not magnesium chloride, it's magnesium. The magnesium in our product is ready to be whatever magnesium ion that is needed in the body. It's completely broken down into its chemical, like when you see the periodic table and you see magnesium, that's what it is. Got it. So that's what's inside. The fulvic molecule, it carries 70 plus mineral ions in it. And what it is, is a flavonoid. So it's a very, very small molecule and it has the ability to cross the cell barrier and it carries with it 60 times its weight of nutrients, minerals into the cell. And then it changes its polarity. It's the only molecule they know that can change its polarity. It's being studied all over. You get into quantum mechanics, quantum physics, etc. when you study it. And so it carries these positively charged um, you know, uh, beneficial minerals, nutrients into the cell, and then it changes its charge and those drops off, drop off. And now all the negatively charged, um, bio waste toxins and heavy metals grab onto it. And it carries those out via natural diffusion processes. So, so would it be a good idea to also have take binders when it's taking those toxins well, out to, to take some and binders? And you don't need the binders because this is what the humic is for. So what I say is these fulvic and humic, this is mother nature's technology for mineral replenishment in all cellular systems and full system detoxification. So, so humic, humic, Humic is all you're, you're, you're yeah, gonna, humic it, is it's larger, which yeah. outside so the humic cells is a large that. molecule. It hangs out in the bloodstream. The way I like to describe it, because it's easy to imagine, it's like a Velcro ball. It's very, very sticky because it's a strong electrolyte. That's actually a technical term, one of the strongest electrolytes they know known to man. And it chelates with heavy metals. It binds with free radicals. It gathers, it's like exponentially. I've seen charts that show you know, how effective it is as, a, as, a anti, as an antioxidant relative to a superfood, thousands of times better. And it, so chelates with heavy metals, binds with free radicals. It gathers just your bio waste, general bio waste. Those are generally negatively charged ions. And it, it also does this thing with glyphosates. And this is the key component. This is one of the only substances that they know that does this. And it's called adsorb. And what adsorb is, it actually creates an electrical film around the glyphosate molecule and it inhibits its effects in your gut. So even when it's in your system, it inhibits the effects. Ultimately, it binds to it and it carries it out of your system. So it does two things. It inhibits the, fact, the effects, the, the negative effects of glyphosate, which we can talk about. And then it also removes it for your, from your system. And I have scientific data there's anyone of your, we can even put it, if you want to have a page, we can put yeah. the, 
the studies there so people can link through. Um, I highly recommended some studies that have been done in Japan and there's some other ones about um, showing how much glyphosate is mostly with farm animals. Um, uh, so, but our guts actually, although our guts are designed differently, we are still have microflora in our gut. We still have the same issues. So, so you did, so, okay. F um, fulvic is like a bus that carries these really important trace minerals into your cells is what I'm hearing. Transporter. And then a transporter. And then the humic, I heard you call it um, Mother Nature's janitor yes. is what I've heard you yes. call it because of how it sits outside the cells and does all those incredible things for heavy metals, free radicals, general bio waste. And then you're saying it does two things for glyphosate, inhibits the effects and then helps get rid of it out of the body is what exactly. you said. Exactly. You know, the humic, okay. I, I really want to, I can't, I cannot um, put too much focus on humic. So... I'm going to tell you a story just because it's amazing. Humic is so effective as a heavy metal chelator and a, as a toxic toxicity remover. Um, I, we've been working with a guy um, who's a scientist in Russia, and he, he's been working with humic and fulvic for 35 years. He's one of the very few. And he was tasked with a whole bunch of other scientists to come to a Chernobyl site, and they were each given a plot of land and said, see if you can make something grow. And he put humic on his plot. It was the only, after six months, it was the only one that was growing. Wow. So that wow. gives you an example of the power of it. Um, this, it's like, the thing that I like to tell people is, you know, your body is so complex and intelligent and Mother Earth, the Earth is so complex and intelligent. These are the tools that, that the Earth actually provided for cellular uptake of nutrients, intercellular detoxification, and full system detoxification. Yeah, it's, it's, beautiful, so it's a cool. beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and let's face it, we live in the most toxic world than ever before. Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't live in Chernobyl, but we're getting toxins in our body mm -hmm. every single day. Mm -hmm. um, are, there are there any studies that show humic can actually, or fulvic, but probably humic can actually remove heavy metals mm -hmm. that are deep inside the mm -hmm. tissue and bone, or is it more so for metals that are floating around the bloodstream in the cells? No, everywhere. So again, remember your entire body is made of cells. Your bones are made of cells. So your brain is made. So this is a cool thing about these. And, and just so you know, here's an example. We had a woman who just, she's been taking our minerals for about well, since May. So actually that's less than six months. And she just came to our booth and we gave her this test. We, we've been partnering with this company called OligaScan and it will give you an immediate reading of all of your beneficial minerals in your body, in your tissue, okay? All of your heavy metals and all of your um, vitamin levels. It gives you overall the oxidative stress. It's an amazing tool. Um, and if anybody's interested in that, I'd love to talk to them about it. We could set up another thing about that. But um, she did the test and she, after taking the minerals for, for since May, she had no, like you, it's like red is bad. Yellow is not, is like the middle green is great. Her entire test was green. And she had done a test prior to a, a hair test that showed she, she had a lot of heavy metals. So this is, this is saying in the tissue, that's saying it's, and, and I, again, I have a compilation of studies, 15 pages long, that talks about how fulvic and humic work to remove, and many of the studies talk about how fulvic and humic work to remove heavy metals from tissues. So they are some of the most powerful tools you'll be able to use on an, a regular basis. So, you know, peop, lots of people are doing heavy metal talk, detoxification through these detoxification protocols um, that are really involved and they involve um, using things that, that uh, get you to excrete and all of these things. So you have to use binders and all of that. And I'm not saying that's not a good thing for some people under the care of a practitioner, very, very key component. Um, but what I'm also saying is that if you just start taking these, these plant-based liquid humic and fulvic substances and you just take these daily 
over a long period of time, your body is naturally going to start to be able to get rid of this stuff. It's not only especially as oh, go on. I was going to say, especially because we're we're detoxing and retoxing and detoxing exactly. and retoxing. So it's, we're constantly toxins are constantly entering our bodies every day. Exactly. So rather than doing some big detoxing detoxification protocol and then starting again next day, you know, feeding at all, what you want to do is provide the tools that your body already has evolved to use. That's the cool thing about these. So and particularly for the for the um, people who are the meat, the guys, the carnivore guys. One of the things that I want to say, because especially with the organ meats and all of that, I know that as a carnivore, it's hard to only, you, what you really want to do is get meat that is only grass fed completely all the way up to the end, no grain finishing. Very, very hard to find if you've ever spent, I mean, people who've tried to find it know it's very hard to find. And, you know, kudos to those carnivores who are only eating meat that is, uh, not grain finished, but I'm telling you, so the big challenge that we're dealing with is that many, m most meat uh, steer are finished with grains. And I'm going to tell you, first of all, a lot of, it's, a lot of times that's oats. And do you know they spray glyphosates directly onto the oats to make them dry faster mm -hmm. as a desiccant. So this is, so this glyphosate issue is really big. I just was speaking with a guy named Kieran Krishnan. He's the head of some a company called Microbiome Labs, and he is one of the most knowledgeable people about the gut microbiome I've ever run into. They just finished a study with glyphosates with three-year-olds, and they took three-year-olds with really great gut flora, and they exposed them to one-third of the glyphosate level that is acceptable by the FDA, and in three weeks, those three-year-olds had gut microbiomes like somebody who has IBS. Now, wow. it wasn't just wow. glyphosate. So the thing we have to remember is that there's t glyphosates that they spray on our food are mixed with something called surfactants or adjuvants, which make them more bioavailable. And it's the mixture between the two that is the main issue. And the problem is that most all actually, most of the studies that have been done by the people who are creating those products, they just only do the studies with the straight glyphosate molecule, not the, the glyphosate mixed with the adjuvants and surfactants. So I can go. Yeah, that's good. That's a good point. And uh, I know uh, Stephanie Sennett's yes. uh, research also shows that glyphosate pushes metals deeper inside of our tissues and bones. So it's a big, big problem, this glyphosate issue. And I'm working to uh, work this, with her. I'm, I'm, she and I are, oh, awesome. are going to start collaborating. I'm really excited about that. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I want to see the studies that you have uh, on humic getting rid of metals from the mm -hmm. tissues and bones. That's super interesting mm -hmm. to me. I've got that. And I want to. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll put down for those listening and watching, we'll put the, a link down below mm -hmm. for you if you want to check out the studies as well. Mm -hmm. okay, so let's talk real quick about you have a couple of products that I have mm -hmm. here. We have Micro Boost, um, which is primarily a humic product. Mm -hmm. And then we have Electrolyze, mm -hmm. which is primarily a fulvic product. Right. What's the difference between these two? How do we yeah, use it? Yeah. Can we put it in coffee, tea, et cetera? Yeah. All that? So those two products, they're liquid. One of the coolest things about those products is they're completely ionized. When you drink them, they require no digestion. So we talked about those three stages of, of bioavailability. You skip the first one altogether, goes directly into absorption. So when you drink it, by the time you, it hits your stomach, it's already being utilized by your body. That is really mm. cool. And that's why people start to feel a difference fairly quickly. So the two products, MicroBoost is what we call the micronutrient supplement is primarily humic and the electrolyze, it, we call it the electrolyte supplement. And I'm going to explain why. Um, uh, and it's primary, it's a fulvic supplement. So we call taking them both together the gold standard for electrolyte and micronutrient supplementation because together they give you this incredible energy associated with the fulvic nutrient uptake and they give you the great capacity of the humic to de detoxify everything, get, get everything out of your system. The reason we have them separated is for two reasons. 
One is a simple technical reason on our side, which is to keep the humic 100% bioavailable, we have to keep it separate. If we mix them all together into one single, it will fall out of, into the, the right formulation for you, it will fall out of suspension, it won't be 100% bioavailable anymore. So that's why we keep them separate. Makes sense. But there's also some really great reasons to keep them separate in terms of a person's use. So as a daily supplement, you take uh, those small bottles are different, but our 32 ounce bottles, you would just take half a cap of each. They taste like water. They blow people's mind. They're like, they are kind of worried when they hold them and then they drink them. They're like, because they're, it's dark, right? Yeah. So I have this, I, ha I want to, I want to drink it right now. How much should I put in here? Um, it's like, you just put a, of, of that little bottle that you're going to open, you would put like actually two capsules, two capfuls. I mean, of that. Oh, I probably shouldn't do it now because I might spill some on my yeah. desk, but okay. Yeah. Two capsules, Two capsules of in that. here. I'm going to do, I'm going to chug it right afterwards. Yeah. And it's, it's, dark. but you could just and drink it we... right out of the cap and show them how it tastes. Cause it literally oh. just drink, just drink a capful and you'll see, cause it literally so, tastes like water. So yeah. Do you see yeah. that? So it looks black. Mm, it doesn't taste it like doesn't anything. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> And that's the thing, like I've two. taken a lot of Chinese medicine over the years, lots of supplements. In, in my health journey, I took a lot of things that tasted horrible. And you wake up every, every morning and in some mornings you're like, I don't want to. And that's what I love about <laughs> right. this. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll do it, no problem. You can put it in your coffee, you can put it in your tea, you can put it in a shake, you can drink it on an empty stomach. For people who do intermittent fasting, it's fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't break your fast, it's, no glucose response. Exactly, and it, and it supports that autophagy response, I mean, um, activity. So it's, in that respect, it's really easy. So you take both every day as that basic foundation. And then- So do the other one? Yeah, do, you would do two caps of that as well. As well. Yeah. And then- Let's say you're a performance athlete. Let's say, or let's say you're gonna go work out in the yard in the hot sun for a day. Let's say, you know, you're gonna burn extra electrolytes. You're going, you have a competition or some sporting event. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take more of the electrolytes because what that electrolyze is gonna do is it's gonna increase the energy production in your body by making all of the other food and like all of the other food that you put in your body gets more bio becomes more bioavailable by that fulvic supplement so that is a i mean i've gotten to the point literally if i take two sips of alcohol i'm like woo feel it because i have so many flavonoids in my system that my the assimilation activity in my body is extremely efficient so think about and this is a problem with lots of people who are doing keto for health. Maybe they even have part of their bowel resected or all sorts of stapling, all those things. So you have, you have assimilation issues. So you want to increase assimilation, you use that. The other thing I want to, you know, lots of people are using for electrolyte replenishment. They're using powders, they're using pills, they're using salts. So first of all, the powders and pills, all the, they have to be digested first. Anything, any kind of drink powder that has flavoring has to be digested first. Now you've taken the diet bioavailability down to 10%. When you take that little capful, 100% is bioavailable. 100%, wow. okay, is available for the body to utilize now, okay? So that's why for your kids who are running in sports, you put that, put that in your water bottle for you as an athlete after the gym or before or sporting events or competitions. Okay. Now. So you answered the question that I had, yeah. which was, can kids use this product? Then? Absolutely. The it's fantastic for kids. And, and particularly with the story around the three-year-olds and the glyphosates, the glyphosates right, so. are hitting your kids and your pets much more hard, yeah. hard than they're hitting you. Know, you. Speaking of which, if somebody listening right now or watching lives on a golf course, you are being blasted exactly. with glyphosate. Exactly. This is something that's a serious concern that people are unaware of. People pay more money to have a house on a golf course. I would never live on a golf course. So protect yourself with this and then eventually get out of that house. But that's something to be aware of. And if of. you let your pet run, guess what they're mm -hmm. doing? Their nose is right down in the glyphosate. Yeah. So 
You know, the cool thing about, uh, I live in Miami, they ban glyphosate from, from parks oh, here, that's which fantastic. is amazing. They did that just recently in Portland. It's so fantastic, yeah, right? Yeah, it's catching on. I think Miami was the first city that did that. A uh, actually, it was like three years ago, I believe. And so I know, so I know that, they're, they're, that when I take my dog to the park, there's no glyphosate. But my neighbors who have their own <laughs> private home, they probably, probably spray. So when I see those signs that like this company the distinguished, but I never let my dog go on that exactly. because it's not healthy for him or for exactly. me. Exactly. So here's the cool thing. So now we think about MicroBoost. So MicroBoost has that humic component, that ability to inhibit the effects of and remove those glyphosates. A cool story. We're working with a zoologist in the UK. She works with a lot of large animals in the zoo. She's the, she's the head zoologist. She did a test with all of her animals. She put down plain water and she put down water with MicroBoost in it. 100% of the time, the animals chose the water with the MicroBoost. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Animals know the healing. The animals know. Yeah, I believe so I, I will say, try it with your pet. Put it, put the, the, the water down. When we were at a, recently at a, the biohacking conference and somebody came by with their dog, oh my God, that dog could not get enough MicroBoost. It was just like... Was that... Was that my mentor, Dr. Yeah, Papa, because he brings his dog everywhere. It was. It was. It's exactly, <laughs> I knew exactly it. right. It was actually his it was daughter. It was actually his daughter. Uh, who really, and then yeah. they came by too. They had a. Then they wanted to fill a really big cup. And yeah. so you, so you spoke with him because I want to. I don't know if you, how many how much of a conversation you have, but I want to introduce you to him. I think this is going to be a valuable thing for him to speak to you about as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I've, I've met Dr. Pompa one time. You know, he's always very busy at the events. Um, and even yeah. when he did come by the booth, I just came in when they were leaving. We haven't had a chance to have a kind of a substantive conversation. And if you would like to introduce me and, and be, that, I would, that love would be to. lovely. Yeah, yeah. I, would lo I would love to. And also potentially like bring you into our group because I work with him and Dr. Mindy Pels. Oh, I and love, I love Dr. Pels too. That's another person I've really yeah, wanted to meet. Yeah, both. I'll connect you to, but I would love to potentially bring you into our platinum group to do a training for us in our group so we can learn more about it for, you know, the doctors in our group and the health coaches. So yes, let's do that. That is, um, I'm going to see actually both of them in two days in New York city. We're both speaking at a conference. So I'll uh, bring you up Fantastic. and I'm going to give it to my dog starting today. So Ziggy, who's sleeping here, my dog, you hear that he's sleeping, but he's going to be getting some of that. Um, let's talk yeah. about the ladies because a couple can of I, Ben, before we go oh, on, can I just yeah, do, sorry. I want to make sure that everybody gets the last piece on how they can use MicroBoost separate from the pair. Um, so, yes. because it's really important. First of all, if you drink alcohol before you go drinking, take an extra shot of MicroBoost and you will have no hangover. I have a friend, she could not drink with her German husband and cause she would feel so horrible and she wouldn't sleep. She, I said, let's do a test. She slept like a baby. She woke up the next morning, no hangover. She's like, you've changed my life. So my sons who are <laughs> 24 and 26, my son went to a big party for the weekend. At the end, all his friends came in the house. They're like, can we have some of that? You know, that purple bottle? <laughs> the hangover cure, yeah. that's great. And, um, but it also works for getting glutenized or for food hangovers when you're, um, and, mm. and it is the key to the keto flu. It is the key to the keto flu. If you start feeling some flu symptoms, take a half shot of, of a micro boost. Okay? Micro boost. Yeah, that's good to know. Okay. Or that's if awesome. you're starting okay. to get a cold or a flu, you feel that feeling, yeah. take an extra shot. Okay. That's great. That's great. I love mm -hmm. that. Uh, what is this? The one I have is four ounces. Can I travel with four ounces you, or do you need to be? You can travel. Four point. You, it's actually 3.4 ounces, I think. Isn't it say 3.4? Does it say four? It says yeah. four ounces on yeah, this one. Yeah, you can actually travel with that. But what I'm going to tell you is if you travel, we actually do have a capsule and it's called Electro Boost. It's not as bioavailable oh. as the liquid, but for traveling, it's very, very convenient. We do a lot of traveling. I'm sure you do too. I'll make sure you get a bottle of that, Ben, so you can take it with you when you're traveling. Just one okay, capsule great. a day yeah. is like taking your daily dose. Uh, and, oh, yeah. thank you. And yeah, that'll be great. Some people who have really systemic problems with cramping, because some people, even when they take lots of minerals, they deal, still do. Um, and that has to do with some things, a more technical conversation. But um, they swear by the capsules. They actually will take a capsule every day, and then they'll take their liquid. And so if you do, if you aren't, if your, your cramps don't get resolved, and I would say 95% of the people 
Their cramps totally resolve after taking um, our products regularly if you have cramps. Um, but if they don't, the capsule will totally do it. Okay. Okay. okay, that's good to know. Do you do you need to take both of these together, meaning the fulvic and the humic, or yes. what would happen if you took yeah. one or the other alone? Well, if you're only going to take one because you just, darn it, I only want to take one, then we recommend taking the MicroBoost because it does have some fulvic in it. But, but it. you would but not want to take just the fulvic, and this is my problem with gut ion, is it's a fulvic supplement. So now what you're doing is allowing transportation of those um, bioways, toxins, et cetera, heavy metals out of your cells, but you're not providing the tools to remove it. Got it. Got it. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Um, let's talk as we wrap, land the plane here. Let's talk mm -hmm. about the ladies out yeah. there. Um, those who are having heavy menstrual cycle mm -hmm. every month, mm -hmm. it's like they're not looking forward to it. What is going on there and what can this potentially mean in terms of a mineral yeah. Uh, depletion? Yeah. Well, just a quick story. So a friend of mine that I met at a conference, she has very, very, has always had very, very painful periods, extreme cramping. She's kind of out of it for a day and a half, sometimes two days when she starts her period. And so first thing I did was I sent her our spray. So we have, it's a fulvic spray and she sprayed her abdomen when she had her cramps in the legs and the back. And she's like, oh my God, finally some relief. So this fulvic spray that's called Instalite is incredibly effective for if you deal with uh, monthly cramping. But then she started taking the minerals and she called me two months later and she's like, she texted me, she's like, I gotta talk to you. I'm like, okay, let's talk. And we got on the phone. She said, I just started my period. I'm like, okay. And she's like, no, you don't understand. I just started my period and I didn't know it was coming on and I'm not having any cramps. So wow. what, I'm, what I want women to know is that cramping and uh, uh, menstrual cramping, a lot of the, the symptoms that as your, your period is about to come on, the bloating, all of that can be absolutely supported by providing full spectrum mineral support. So again, if you think about your hangry cells, the signs, of, you know, this menstrual, these menstrual problems, it's a sign of a lack of homeostasis. Your body literally doesn't have the energy it needs to build your lining, to begin the process of letting the lining go of your uterus, to do all these processes, and so you're experiencing cramping. If you provide this full spectrum mineral supports, to, which you have to understand if you follow every system down in your body, whether it's an enzymatic system, it's a hormonal system, it's, a, it's your circulation, it's your muscles, it's like every single system in your body, you follow it down and guess what drives it? A different set of minerals. You ask mm. any doctor who, or any scientist and they will say the same thing. I always like to point people to the uh, that show alone. Have you ever heard of that show alone that's now on Netflix? They send people wow. out into the wilderness and they have nothing except for, a, they get to choose like 10 tools and a sleeping bag or something. And, and they are sent out into the wilderness. They have to survive for like a hundred days. And it's so mm. interesting to watch that because every time the person finds a piece of food, what do they say? They say with that food, they're going to get this many calories and this mineral and this mineral. And then they talk about the minerals. It's, and I'm like, see, <laughs> You're going to die. And they, every single one that, that taps out is because they were mineral deficient. Yeah. Wow. That makes sense. So interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so interesting. And it also makes sense that the ovaries have like some of the highest concentration of mitochondria. Mm -hmm. And if you're depleted, you need that, those minerals there. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And think about how much cellular, how much energy is required to build the lining of the uterus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That Think makes total it. sense. Okay. Yeah. Now I don't want to neglect the postmenopausal woman. Mm -hmm. You said something yes. earlier about your personal health journey with your mm -hmm. adrenal, um, dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And we, we know that when you go through menopause, mm -hmm. um, the ovaries are retiring, mm -hmm. they've put in their work and they're saying, you know, I have done my job. Now I am going on to retire mm -hmm. and the adrenal glands pick up the slack for a lot of what the ovaries did. Exactly. So supporting the adrenal glands during menopause, postmenopause is very important. So what can this do to support exactly. that? Exactly. So, you know, we think about this three-legged stool. I call it the three-legged stool of adrenals, 
the, the sex hormones, you know, progesterone, estrogen, and the thyroid. So these three work as a three-legged stool. And when one is out, they're all out. So, and again, when, when I want people to, in the, and women particularly, because I've, I've um, gone through menopause, and when you have, I mean, it, my situation associated with this three-legged stool has completely resolved from taking minerals. That's why my adrenals suddenly came up. That's why I, I still have to take thyroid. I'm actually on a journey to heal my thyroid completely. Um, but I take less thyroid now than I did. It never, I mean, my doctor's like, hmm, okay, yeah, you need less <laughs> thyroid now, you know? That's huh, great. that never happens. Usually it gets worse and worse as you get older. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to, and, and I wish people could see photos of me like eight years ago. I looked older, okay? Like my skin is more vibrant. My skin is so healthy. You know, it's like, it, it's, it is the best support because you can't, you know, we, of course, many women, um, myself included, take uh, progesterone and estrogen. But what we want to do is not only to think that we're so smart that we can dis decide what our body needs in the exact amounts. You know, that's why, as an example, a patch is much more um, better than taking pills for estrogen. Because now what you're doing is you're flooding your system and now your body can grab what it needs when it needs it. And that's the same idea. We have to stop thinking of our body as... Uh, something that needs to be fixed because it knows how to fix itself unless you have amen to that okay so yes exactly our bodies actually know that. what to do and mother nature provided the fundamental foundational tools and all of the other things that you're doing for your health will be more effective whether it's eating taking other supplements even doing nootropics or devices all of those devices, even things like, you know, lymphatic drainage, all of these things work more effectively when you have humic and fulvic in your system. So I think, so I think the audience is now inspired to get your <laughs> products. At least I hope so. I, hope I mean, so. I, I'm using it now daily. I'm going to try your other ones as well. If you go to the link down below, you can learn more about uh, beam minerals and all the products that you have. And Carolyn was very gracious and she gave all of you listening and watching a coupon code for 20% off your order. And that code is keto camp, no space in between camp with the K. We'll drop all that down below. Carolyn, where else can they check you out? Um, social or anywhere else you want them to go? Yeah, please check us out on Instagram, just be minerals or Facebook, be minerals. And if anybody wants to talk to me directly, you could certainly connect to me through LinkedIn. Um, or just send a message to info at Beam Minerals. I love to talk to people. I really love to talk to practitioners. If any practitioners are interested, we love to work with you. Um, a lot of our practitioners just say to their um, clients now, look, I don't, if you're going to work with me, you need to use these minerals. That's all, mm -hmm. That uh, speaks volumes mm -hmm. right there. Thank you for your tremendous research and um, your pain to purpose journey, which is now helping us uh, with our journey. I, I love it. I'm excited to take this on a consistent basis and give you my feedback and connect you with uh, Dr. Pompa and Mindy and do some other cool things with you. So, Carolyn, I'm grateful for you. Actually, the last question I want to ask you real quick is what are you grateful for today? What is the vitamin G you want to receive today? <laughs> I What I am grateful for is that the universe for me right now is absolutely showing up. It's like, um, it's providing, I, I keep saying, I need this. If you want me to do this, I need some help and boom, it shows up. And, um, I am, I am absolutely grateful. Uh, whatever you want to call that for yourself, whether it's spirit or God or divinity or whatever, I am to the higher power or whatever it is that some organizing force that is bringing all this incredible joy to me so that I can be present with other people. Beautiful. Ask <laughs> and you shall receive. <laughs> uh, Carolyn, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for today's conversation. I really enjoyed it. And I look forward to chatting with you again sometime soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.